Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Ashford Asylum Suicidal, and today I watched that video about that uh, Lee something or other. Dude who was uh, his, uh, his whole like bone structure was kind of a little bit bent out of shape, you know? Um, so he uh, basically his, his like spine had like completely bent so that his face was like wedged into his thigh and uh, he'd been that way for for like 20 years it's I forget the name of the, the thing um, but uh, he uh, it, it was like a not an immediate process you know obviously you're not gonna just like immediately have your your spine twisted like that right like it, it takes time and it's probably rather painful and and uh, probably pretty pretty damn sucks. Terrible, yeah. <laughs> not 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 fun, I imagine. Um, but his whole like spine, so his uh, his face was like jammed into his uh, his thigh, and he couldn't move it. Like the, there was no way for him to just like like I can put my face to to my thigh if I lose a little bit of weight, you know, like. Right now, there's a little bit of fat in the way, I suppose, but I, I can do that if I if I lose some weight, you know, like um, doable, okay? But I can just sit back up again, right? He couldn't. He he was he was stuck like that. Like, that's how he had to brush his teeth. That's how he has to eat. That's how he has to like, you know, poop with his face stuck between his thighs and eh, not not a very pleasant thing I'm sure um, but uh, you know and he ended up getting surgery to fix this finally um, apparently they tried some some treatments none of them were working they didn't have the money for anything like to um, extravagant they they had to to try what they could do and, and uh, they couldn't get anything to to, to fix it and uh, I guess finally they they ended up having the money for it or um, maybe the news channel sponsored it or they they raised money with a charity or something I don't know it didn't really go into how they got the funding for it all of a sudden I'm I'm imagining it was uh, maybe saved up or or they had a sponsorship from like the news that that, that covered it or whatever I don't know so it's a good story for the news so I'm sure they would have paid uh, at least something for it. Maybe not all of it, but, you know, something. Um, it's, it's a Chinese news thing, I think, or whatever, and, and it's it's gained recognition worldwide, so. It's, even if they paid for the whole thing, it might have been a profitable venture. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't really matter how they got the money. They, uh, they finally did, and they were able to get a, a proper surgery done for it. But... You know, you just, you, you gotta think about, like, this dude's back is, like, completely bent. All of his bones are, like, fusing together, you know? Like, they're, they're, it's not just, like, a, a surgery to just, like, stretch him back out, you know? Like, it's, it's gonna be intense, right? So what they had to do was they had to basically go through and break all of the bones in this dude's body and then like repair them in the right shape Buy some armor. <laughs> which is like insane it was it was four I thought that landed up right it was four sessions of, of surgery that 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 he had to go through and uh, he had to uh, get literally like almost all of his bones broken and then repaired in in the right shape and it was kind of cool watching the video for it because like as you went through and as you would get these surgeries like different aspects of his body would kind of like straighten out again you know and uh, so like the first one was to uh, to get his face a little bit away from his thighs um, so that he could uh, so they could do the um, a surgery to 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 to, to like, so they could get in there and like do something, you know. Um, so they had to like break his thigh bones and then repair them, and like 
away from his face. <laughs> like, what? Insane. And then uh, the next one, they straightened out his neck, so I had to break all of his neck bones. <laughs> like, ooh, that's scary. And then, uh, like, repair them. And then he was able to, like, lift up his head. Well, there was, you know, there, there was a period of time, of course, where he had, uh, like, straps around his head to make sure that it couldn't move, so he was now just stuck in a different position, but, uh, you know, the, the goal, of course, is for him to be able to move his head, and even being stuck upright with your head is probably better than being stuck with your head, like, up against your knob, you know? Imagine, imagine it wasn't, uh, of all of the stuff happening, of all the pain and suffering and soreness and, and everything that was going on, I imagine the whole, like, having his head, being able to, like, see the things around him, that was probably one of the better <laughs> aspects of it. Probably, you know, fairly overwhelmed by the, uh, the amount of just terrible pain. Because, like, literally all of his bones are being broken and then repaired, and then he's, like, still not really fixed yet, you know, like, it's still got to heal and stuff, so, um, Suits and boots, guys. Got you know, he had his head stuck. I'm sure he wasn't complaining about that so much, you know? He was probably, if anything, if he was even, like, coherent, probably mostly remarking about being able to, like, see stuff again, you know? And, and just, like, how amazing it is to be able to, like, eat if he was doing that. <laughs> I don't really know. Probably had a mostly uh, fluid diet, you know, is my guess. But, you know, being able to, to, to have your head up, probably, probably a fairly pleasant experience, um, given all the other stuff happening. Um, so it's not like it was bad that his head was stuck up. It was just stuck in a different position. A better one, for sure. Anyway, uh, and then the next surgery went through and, like, straightened out his back. So they had to, like, break his spine <laughs> and then, like, repair it, which was, like, crazy. And then they, uh, went through and they fixed his hip joints, um, so that he could, like, stand and, uh, and walk around. Then there was a whole bunch of, uh, you know, what, what's the word for it? Rehabilitation, but not that. He had, to, he had to, like, train to, 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 to walk and stuff again because his muscles hadn't been used and they'd, you know, been stuck in a, in a weird position for so long and they weren't really capable of, of, of holding his weight and uh, all that, you know? Um, uh, and then, uh, then he was finally able to leave and I'm just, I'm just watching this video like amazed at uh for one like just just that it was broadcasted is a little bit like i don't know um anyone bring a giant i don't really like it bloody thing out here i don't really i don't really like like i love watching it but it it just bothers me that it gets like you know these people are like profiting off of this poor man's like life. <laughs> it, it, it annoys me a little bit for sure. Um, how do I get out of here again? How was the way that I want to do it? It's over here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of, kind of annoys me a little bit for sure. Um, and then. Uh, I'm also just amazed at, like, the fact that we can do that, you know? The, the, bo both parts of it. The fact that, like, we can have our whole body twisted up like that and still be, like... I was going to say fine, but that's not really the word I'm looking for. Um, alive. Capable of, like, living. And uh, at least doing something, you know? Like he was, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, cooking dinners and stuff like that. Of course. There he is. Come on. Going over here. Why are you going over there, dude? Oh, so close. I 
the fact that we can like do that just like be, be twisted out of shape like that like it's just insane um, and then also the fact that like we can do that and then be fixed that like they can just like destroy all of our bones and this is gonna be close I don't know where you went can't hear him anymore it's incredible though um, modern medicine is amazing dude like they literally went through and broke all of his bones systematically and then repaired them and then just like straightened him out like the world's most dangerous jigsaw puzzle <laughs> just incredible that that uh, that 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 uh, it's possible and it's not like I don't know those doctors are probably pretty good doctors it's not like you have to have like the greatest doctor in the world to, to do that either right like that's a surgery that isn't necessarily like expected of you you know when when you when you're going through your your residency they're not really like well you have to be uh, make sure you're prepared to be able to handle this kind of situation you know really again he's he's, he's making it away Oh my god. You know, it's not really a surgery that, uh, you, you know, you have to be a little bit prepared for it, okay? You know? Um, your doctor. But it's not, it's not really, it's not really the kind of thing that you're getting happening often, I guess. You're not, you're not getting hands-on training with that all too often. Um, probably. But, uh, you know, any doctor, any surgeon that's like reasonably oh no wrong wrong weapon any any surgeon that's that's reasonably competent in uh, in these fields that that were necessary to 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 because there's probably like multiple people coming in for the different aspects of the the process i imagine right like somebody who specializes in in like neck surgery probably came in and somebody who specializes in like back surgery probably came in and you know all this kind of stuff right um, no, his minigun was better than my minigun. His minigun was very big, and mine was just a literal minigun. Like a, a mini gun, you know, like a, a gun that's mini anyway. Um, but you know, any any surgeon who's able to like do surgery is, is probably going to be able to like managed to to make that happen right not not at any i guess but like it's probably and i'm not a doctor but just just kind of like looking at it i'm like it's not like this is the only surgeon that would have been able to accomplish that right they're probably a very capable surgeon and probably a very renowned surgeon and especially in that hospital probably one of the like you know i don't know what's what's the word for it but probably one of the better surgeons more renowned i guess is the word i'm looking for um, in that hospital, or even in China, perhaps. Um, but, like, globally, are they the only doctor who's, who's the only surgeon? The only, you know, person who's going to be able to do that? I don't know, probably not. And in the first place, it's not even like it's just one person doing the surgery anyway, right? Like, in a surgical environment, any kind of time that there's surgery going on, you got, like, a bunch of people going around the room doing all kinds of jobs, right? Like, it's... Like you only have one person in there anyway, right? Like even the best surgeon in the world wouldn't be able to do that alone. Um, it just wouldn't be possible. Um, but uh, anyway, the, the the point is is that there are numerous, many, many surgeons in the world who would be able to accomplish such a feat. Now, I don't think that this the 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 I don't think that it's like a particularly safe surgery. Like it's, the the risk is probably pretty freaking high but uh, even still like there's there's probably many surgeons who would have been able to accomplish it as well um right it's not like he's the only one in the world to be able to do it and uh that just that just kind of like amazes me that like this is just a thing that just is like done like like you know on this kind of a scale probably not done all that often um you know, on on this scale, where with with the whole body like bent out of shape, that's probably a a pretty infrequent thing. But uh, minor cases of it, where where you have to employ many of the same 
techniques to resolve it probably do happen fairly frequently, right? Like where where a surgeon would have to go in and like break the bones and and uh, repair them because of some reason or another. Probably a fairly common occurrence, I imagine. Not like the most common, but uh, it, it probably happens often enough that like you would expect to get hands-on training with it while you're uh, you know doing your residency or internship or whatever. You know. Um, if you're doing that, I guess. I don't know. Um, but it, it's probably a pr fairly frequent thing, right? And, I don't know, it's just, it's it's, it's amazing to me that it's, like, doable. You know, because you, you look back on, like, <laughs> you know, the medicine from the olden days, right? Where, uh, you know, you got people who are, like, you, you got doctors who were just cutting you open and then just letting out blood and then, like, Sticking a band-aid on it, basically, and calling it a day, being like, "Well, there you go. Your bad blood's gone. Now you're gonna feel good again." You know, you know what I mean? Like, just, just stupid stuff, right? And obviously, like, we have to go through all the stupid stuff to get to where we are now. And obviously, right now, we're doing stupid stuff too, like all the time. You know, for one, we're letting people like smoke, <laughs> which is probably, I, I imagine. The whole, like, smoking thing in, like, a thousand years is going to be looked back on as, like, in elementary schools with, uh, with the teachers being like, and in the past, people would smoke. And, uh, you know, little Jane's going to be like, what's smoking? And uh, the teacher's going to be like, well, it's, um, it's, uh, it's a substance that, uh, that people would use, um, back in the day, and, uh, you know, Jane would be like, what was it used for? Um, it wasn't used for anything, actually. They just did it because it was cool. Um, why would they use it then? <laughs> well, they thought it was cool. And what does it do to you? Well, it kills you. Tomatoes. That's my tip. Good for like, <laughs> huh? It's definitely going to be looked back on in the future as, as something that's just, like, unbelievably stupid that it's, like, legal. <laughs> you know, like, like the only, it doesn't do anything. The only purpose of it is that it, uh, kills people. Well, they, actually, no, that's a lie. Um, uh, it has been shown to be somewhat effective at, um, helping with, with some, uh, issues that people might face in, in those select circumstances. Like, it has some use, I suppose. Um. But even that, in like a thousand years, we're gonna know like a better way to handle it, and like, um, they'll be like, really? They 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 smoked because they had colitis, really? <laughs> like, for real? You know, like a thousand years from now, like they didn't they didn't just want to like go to the, the the store and buy some, you know, off the shelf, you know. I was gonna say cholesterol because it was gonna be like kind of like colitis and Tylenol, but I'm like, no, that's a totally different thing. Um, but yeah, just go to the the store and buy like some off the shelf medicine to to like help with the the whole colitis thing. Like they they they, they smoked instead. Like, yep, that was uh, you know recommended by doctors. <laughs> It'll be looked at it the same as like bloodletting, um, for sure. Um, Uh, you know, like it's just, it's just. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's so like the, you look at the doctors from the past, and it's just the stuff that they're doing is so stupid. And like they would like put holes in people's skulls at times too. Like if you go back far enough, they just put hole in your in your skull just because like it was a good thing to do. I don't, I don't even know what their reasoning was. It was just a thing that they did. <laughs> they just would poke a hole in your skull. Um. It was just brutal and stupid. And nowadays, you know, you can you can go to the hospital and be like, Oh, yeah, I just have to get my arm broken and then repaired. And it'll be like, Oh, yeah, well, I'll see you Tuesday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's incredible. It's, it's incredible what, uh... Like, technology and and, uh, and all of this stuff is, is, has done to, to help with... Well, modern medicine, really. It's incredible. I love I love watching that kind of stuff. I hate seeing it, though. I hate seeing these uh, people being taken advantage of because they have a heart, 
hard life or whatever, and some news company can profit on it. it annoys me so much. And then, uh, oh, there was, there was like one video, I didn't watch it, but in the, uh, suggested it was like the worst case of Tourette's. Doesn't want, uh, it was like the world's worst case of Tourette's doesn't want to be cured. Here's why, you know, like, like something like that. It was, they were saying the world's worst case of Tourette's. I'm just looking, I'm like, who are you to say that this is the world's worst case of Tourette's? Like... Who gives you the authority on that, you know? Like, why do you get to, to say that? Who, who defines what worst is? That's how we do it in Darwin. Are you sure it's not this person just, like, leaning into it? <laughs> like... You sure it's not this person just, like... Boots, playing something. it or something? I didn't watch it. But, like, for them to say that it's the world's worst, I'm like, you can't hold the conversation. Like, you can't talk. So, <laughs> you, 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 I don't know. It, 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 just the title annoyed me. Like, I'm not watching it. It's just garbage, dude. Like, people with Tourette's can talk. I'm saying if, 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 you, if you're going to say confidently that this is the world's worst case of Tourette's, I'm like, you better bet your butt that uh, that person can't hold a conversation at all without, like, 18,000 curse words. And, like, at this point in time, I'm like, I don't know, man. I feel they might be playing into it. Not that all people with Tourette's are playing into it. I know some do. Some just don't care. They're like, whatever, I got my ticks, deal with it. And I'm like, yeah, respect to you. But, uh, for it to be like broadcast on the news and, and them say it's the world's worst, I'm like, you know, if you're going to be saying that, you better, you better have some kind of, uh, reason for it. So it just annoys me, man. Like they'll take advantage of you for anything. If it's, uh, if it gets people feeling empathy, then, uh, they'll, 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 they'll try and sell it. And I'm like, you know what, you stupid news people? How about you go and, like, not just take advantage of people like that? You know, like... I don't know. Again, I don't know. They, they might have, like... The, the the Lee person might have got, like, the money for the surgery from the news place. And, like... You know, the alternative here is they don't get the surgery. And it doesn't get broadcast. You know, like, the whole broadcasting and... Um... Surgery thing kind of go hand in hand. Just because, like, otherwise it's not financially viable for the, the news company to help them either. And, you know, at this point in time, you get into, like, the whole moral argument of people being like, well, why can't they? They have the money to help them anyway. They don't have to broadcast it. Well, then, like, you know, if they take care of this person, then they're going to get a whole bunch of other people talking about them. And now they're going to get into, like, discrimination suits and all this kind of stuff, you know? So so they have to to kind of look at it. and We're not alone. They have to broadcast it to, to be able to, to get money in a, in, a, in a realistic way, anyway. Um, you're not, you're not going anywhere. I'm killing you first try this time, okay? Yes, run straight! Run straight! Let's go! Um, so I don't know, maybe that news company, like, did pay for them, and, like, that's very admirable, and good job. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just, like, it just annoys me when, like, people with issues get, like, taken advantage of like that. Not that this person was. Again, I don't know the situation. Just in general, a lot of the time they're like, check out this person, and you can just see that, it, I don't know, it's like propaganda and like, you know, paparazzi and all this kind of nonsense. I'm like, it's just like, just leave them alone, man. Leave them alone. Now they're going to get all kinds of people on them and stuff, and it's going to be annoying. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.